Let's go into the news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. We love Eagle Mortgage because they just do such a good job of taking care of uh, Grow Omaha listeners. And they've been in the business for more than three. They've been in the business longer than Trenton has been doing commercial real estate. And if you want to uh, talk to them about, you know, conventional loan, FHA, VA, they even do a few of the the, the specialty loans, uh, give them a call. Stop by the office at 114th and Davenport or uh, go to EagleMortgageCompany.com. But I tell you, as a mortgage broker, they shop the market. They are not beholden to one bank. And though sometimes people are now saying, oh, the interest rates are high. Historically, they're still very low. And the benefits of owning a house uh, in many, many cases still greatly exceed uh, the benefits of renting one. And so we definitely suggest you talk to Eagle Mortgage. Well, let's get into it, Trenton. I've got a lot of things on the list here. Uh, The first one is the Boho Flats. Uh, The Boho Flats will be a new four-story multifamily building on the northwest corner of 13th and Pine Street. That is in Little Bohemia, hence the Bohemian Boho Uh Flats. And just this week... Uh, Some of our listeners may be familiar with the old ethnic sandwich shop, which stood right there at 13th and Pine. You can tell from the architecture it was once a Dairy Queen. That thing has been demolished, and that means that work will start pretty soon on the new Boho Flats building. Sage Capital Real Estate is doing it as a developer. Like I said earlier, four stories, 59 market rate apartments, and it'll also include 5,000 square feet of ground floor retail space. That's important because that whole Little Bohemia district really continues to catch on. You know, the uh, Muchachos, the uh, New Mexican quick serve place out of Lincoln opened there earlier this year. A lot of potential in the Little Bohemia area. If you're developing an area and you're branding it, it's got to be called district now. You know, I like that, though. I, I think that I think uh, now should we start calling it the Dundee District or the Old Market District? Well, some people do say Old Market District. Yeah. Well, you got Millwork Commons, I guess. District. Yeah. Yeah. I like the district word because because our, our city is made up of all these cool districts, which Builders district. each have their own flavor, but they they're like a salad. They all work together to make something delicious. Yes. Southwest Airlines will begin daily nonstop flights from Omaha to Nashville, Tennessee, starting June 4th. I know that seems like a ways out, but it's really not all that far. you got to prepare for these sorts of things. The daily flight will be on uh, the Boeing 737. The standard Southwest Airlines plane can hold up to 175 passengers. Southwest had operated seasonal service to Nashville for some time now, but this is going to be the daily year-round permanent flight. So... Uh, In addition to Nashville, Southwest is really uh, getting pretty heavy uh, in the service that they offer out of Omaha. They now have, in addition to to Nashville, daily year-round nonstops from Omaha to Atlanta, Midway, Dallas Love, Denver, Houston Hobby, Orlando, Las Vegas, Phoenix, St. Louis, and Washington, D.C. Seasonal flights include Fort Lauderdale and Tampa. Hopefully they uh, are making money now and they can buy a new computer system. God willing, I got caught up in that Southwest Airlines disaster on Christmas, last Christmas. We were uh, supposed to fly to Phoenix to visit family, and uh, it was an absolute cluster you-know-what. And uh, I've been rather hostile to Southwest Airlines since then, but I've got to admit, um, they did refund the tickets. Uh, They paid for a rental car that we grabbed to drive to Arizona, paid for our hotels on the drive to and from back Arizona, and uh, gave all four of us 25,000 complimentary miles. So at least they tried hard to to make up for it. I will say, though, when I'm traveling for business and... um, and I'm going out, like let's say I have a sales training program on Tuesday and I'm flying out on Monday. I never take Southwest on the way to yeah. a place because I just don't trust them. But I will take them home if, as long as I don't have anything important scheduled the next day because then it's a little bit less of a risk. Now, on that cluster, you did choose to fly on Christmas. So? What is is that my fault that I want to fly on Christmas? If you, I'm just saying, if you if Southwest Airlines offers a ticket on Christmas and I pay for the ticket on Christmas, maybe they should do their job and get me there on Christmas. So do you go to movies on Tuesday nights too? Uh, rarely. Why? Yeah. 
because that's discount night. It's like five dollar movie night. I'm, not, I'm like, usually not available you know, for a movie you, on you Tuesday. You can't night. see over people's blankets. There's so many people there. <laughs> can't see over the, I don't go to very many movies. I, I usually only go to about maybe one movie a month, if that. Because I know you're a movie guy. You go yeah. more to more than I do. But if I do, it's going to be on a weekend because that's when I'm available. Okay. I'm working on Tuesday for crying out loud. So are you. All right. Um, we have other Epley Airport news. So uh, we reported this in the Gromaha newsletter about a week or two ago. But um, I wanted to kind of give everyone an update. You may have heard that because of the new canopy and front drive improvements outside of Epley, that there are now temporary pickup and drop-off lanes inside on the ground floor of the South Parking Garage. Um, that has started. That uh, went live yesterday morning. And I'm sure regular listeners, along with Trenton Magid, will not be surprised to hear this, but I did go personally try it out, <laughs> as you know I would. Wait, did you have a flight or anything, or you just did it for sport? No, I did it this morning on the way to the studio. I literally drove all the way downtown over to Epley just because uh, I wanted to provide so a service. It was, a three dr- it was like a pickup, so you didn't have to pay when you went in the uh, It's free. It's like drop-off pickup. Okay. So basically, they got rid of... For most of the ground floor, there's still the little ticket things to go up into Mm -hmm. the um, South Garage. But um, if you just follow the temporary orange signs, which will be there for about a year, a year and a half, um, you go on one side for picking people up. You go on one side for dropping off. And then on the far west, they have the Uber and Lyft uh, areas. And it looks pretty good. So can you... It's very... The signs are easy to follow. So uh, do not panic. So are you... Now, when you go to pick people up, should you still stay in the cell phone lot until your person gets off the plane? Correct. In fact, I would say it's probably even more important to do that, Trenton, because there's not as much space as there had been. So, um, But is it still like parked in tandem? or? Like- yeah, there's like a couple lanes for pickup and a couple lanes for drop off. And so, so basically, if you are picking up an arriving passenger, that's more toward the east side of uh, the South Garage. And if you are dropping off a departing passenger that's kind of more like in the middle uh and then the, the left is ride share and then the uber is to the left is the ride share to the west yeah okay but but, but they, they've done it in a way that's very clear and it was easy to follow just follow the signs ladies and gentlemen. there's a few people that panicked on our website or on our facebook page and <laughs> yes they and did apparently they didn't get the information within 40 minutes and they gave us a reminder so yeah, a lot of a lot of people get. We love our fans, but give us at least an hour. Some people have a little trouble with change, too. So, uh, but this is this is really no big deal. Just follow the signs, and and you'll be fine. And and like everything, when we talk about construction, because because everyone knows we love construction here on this show, it can be a hassle while it's going on, but the greater good uh, is worth it. The light at the end of the tunnel is there. Uh, when this thing is done in about I think a year and a half, you will have this amazing canopy over the drop-off pickup area and it'll be very nice and very logical and it'll it'll really increase traffic flow and increase capacity and of course that sets the stage for the 600 million dollar terminal expansion which we expect to kick off next year and we're guessing one or two moving walkways moving sidewalks well omaha is number one in america trenton for apartment rental growth according to costar um this uh, this is a significant statement. Uh, from the beginning of 2023 through last month, apartment rents increased by 4.1 percent. CoStar looked at every submarket in the United States that has at least 75,000 rental units in it. Omaha number one. Now, if you are a renter, you probably don't like hearing that. Uh, but from a Grow Omaha perspective, that actually bodes well for our future. Yeah, I I think it does, and we're seeing some more apartment projects, both ground up and conversions. So that might tame it a little bit for you. Uh, the competition won't hurt uh, the the renters, but it's still. What would you say, Jeff, for apartment dwellers that that want to get a house? You you got you got almost you know eight percent almost sometimes for thirty year fixed mortgage rates. Mm-hmm. And then you got rising apartment rates, so you still think if if you buy a decent house, do you think it um, it's still a good investment to buy a house? 
Well, you know, of course, it, it depends for each individual person. How much they invest in it. Yeah, and how much they have to put down and what their income is and yada, yada, yada. And, of course, Eagle Mortgage would, would help you with all of yeah, that. better at that than we are. Um, but I would tell you, uh, long term, I, I think there are there are a lot of people who, who rent who would be serving themselves well uh, by uh, having skin in the game and, and owning a house. But when, when we're used to 3% home loans and now they're like 8%, percent or whatever they are that is obviously tough for people yeah it it concerns me that i think it was like after world war ii after a few years i think like 75 percent of people uh owned a home yeah and and now with with all the venture capital and all these huge corporations and every, there's a lot of forces that want people to rent homes and there's, oh, yeah. there's groups in omaha there's individuals in omaha that own hundreds of homes each and I don't like that trend. Yeah, I've got mixed emotions about it, uh, Trenton, because in some ways it's nice to see so many people wanting to be landlords and, um, and, and making that commitment. That's good for America to have lots of people investing in that sort of thing. But I'm with you. The percentage of people who own their own homes has gone down dramatically since the end of world, since that post-World War II era. And I am of the belief that the more people who have – financial skin in the game, you know, they, they own a piece of America, um, maybe the more likely, not always, but the more likely they are to care and, um, and, and to, to, to work hard to protect their piece of skin of America. And it is a bit of a concern. Yep. All right. One more news item before we break uh, for the first time. Uh, we have some uh, uh, changes at 13th and Interstate 80, uh, northwest corner of 13th and I-80, so near Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. Uh, we have a Scooter's Coffee uh, building, which is going in directly south of an existing Jimmy John's restaurant, if you can picture the area. And then right to the west of that, there has long been a hotel known as Comfort Inn at the Zoo. That is being converted into a Howard Johnson by Wyndham Hotel. No word on whether it will be called Howard Johnson at the zoo. But that is uh, uh, some change that is happening in South O. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your news of the week, which is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.